It was always my dream to go to like this really good university. After I spent time here, this was this is the one place I wanted to go. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I got accepted. One of the best feelings in the world and uh, I will never forget it. I started jumping up and screaming. My mom looked at me as if I was crazy. I was actually just really proud of myself for getting into Rice and like being like, yeah, I'm obviously smart enough, I got in. I felt a little underprepared and so I was looking for a resource of how to prepare myself for the future and I know I kind of panicked for a while I didn't know what to do so and uh, then I got the letter from RESP and that you know that really solved a lot of my issues. RESP Rice Emerging Scholars Program. This was definitely an unconventional summer this was like no summer I've ever spent ever before who makes the decision to come to university early to study. I was kind of skeptic on like what RESP was, like I don't know if they're like what they really wanted from me or like what they wanted me to do. Honestly, I thought they were sending me a letter that said, you were sort of stupid on your essays and we feel it would be best if you came and did summer school with us. And I totally thought I was gonna have to pay to do summer school and I was about to jump right on it. And then I like calmed down a little bit, brought it to my mom. She's like, no, they're paying you. <laughs> which was really awesome to, you know, fix the deficiencies I knew I had. A typical day at RESP, you wake up at about 7.30, 7.45, you know. RESP is challenging. You begin your days with three hours of class in math, chemistry, and physics that then proceed to five hours of homework with the rest of the RESPies. And on Fridays, there's a special treat where everyone goes to the engineering design kitchen. Everyone participates in hands-on engineering projects. And along the way, there's everything from lab visits to visiting research facilities to hearing some great speakers and uh, just getting to meet some very interesting people at RESP. It's really rigorous, to say the least, but you learn so much in such a short period of time. And it's difficult, but it's only gonna be more difficult when you get to rice during the school year. So it's really nice to have this safe environment where things are difficult, but you know that it's safe. After the homework was done, you know, there was a lot of downtime. We got to really you know, interact with one, of one, uh, one another. And there was a sense of community after, you know, even after the first few days. We did things like go explore Houston. We went to the museum. We went to go play laser tag, so all those things kind of brought all of us uh, respies, is what we call each other. It brought us all really close to each other. <laughs> we used to have like these random like um, dances going on in the commons. Like after everyone's working, like we'll all throw on some music and we're like, dancing on tables, and like it's just fun. Like it's a great environment. <laughs> We now have like our own little RESP family. What I would tell students that were coming into RESP is that RESP is undoubtedly uh, one of the most amazing opportunities I had here at Rice in that I was able to make f connections with people before uh, my OWIC experience here at Rice and I had friends built into every college um, ahead of time. That way I, I never felt alone at any point on campus. <laughs> Definitely not school. It's probably a life-changing experience, uh, especially coming here. I feel like many students are the only people from their high school to come to Rice, so it's a new beginning, a new start. And by taking part in the REST program, you already arrive at Rice your first day with a sense of community. So while you will be working hard, it will definitely pay off, especially in your first semester when you already know the importance of study groups you know that you need to study for midterms. This isn't high school, so just the small things like that definitely make RESP something that you have to come to. And you do also have to realize that not everyone gets this opportunity. I will say do it because it's an amazing experience and it will make your college life all that much better and you just meet some of the most amazing people and professors that you've ever met. I'd say that this is something you need to do if you're at all unsure academically about Rice or at all unsure about moving out of the house. It was like safe moving out. 
because there were all these people, these counselors who were looking out for you and these professors who were really close to you and nice, not like one out of 400 people in a massive room and you just sort of feel overwhelmed by, I'm at college and there's no one to help me, but there was and it was nice to start easy. We were given a speech during O Week about how difficult Rice was going to be and I, coming into that speech and, and having experienced RESP, I was laughing to myself in my head because I had done Rice coursework during the summer and it was a struggle, it was a huge struggle, it was more difficult than anything I had done in my whole life, but I was prepared for it and I was ready for it and so uh, as I watched my friends go through their first semester and try to decide which classes to keep and, and what homework to go with and, and you know, what they should continue on with in their prospective majors, I was confident, I was, it was a real confidence that uh, I, didn't, I didn't have to worry about as the rest of these people were making these big decisions. I was able to, to tour a lot of research labs here on campus and I got to meet a lot of professors who are you know, at the top of their academic disciplines. They are you know, the leading front of research and you know, all that is their you know, uh, major. I got to meet an astronaut, I got to go to the NASA Johnson Space Center. You know, these are opportunities that you know, during the regular high school summer I would have never had the opportunity to do. So in that aspect, it's very unconventional. It's not a regular summer. It's an unconventional summer, if you will. It, it's worth it. It's, it's completely worth it.